there is this addiction. When I was a young man, I discovered climbing. I learned what it means to be totally immersed in something and that the price for this can be high. But there was always this feeling of my body and mind being aligned and strong. I felt self-confident. It just satisfied me. The projects, sometimes they are successful, then you're the hero and you feel yourself also really self-confident. But afterwards, often I find myself in a hole and I don't know how life can go on. Always when I was in the mountains, I noticed that it's the thing I'm searching for or it gives me what I'm looking for. This is what I want to do and what I need to do. The more difficult the project is, the more it attracts me and the more I can learn from it. Also, geht's mir hier. Ja. Rein. The route stirbt langsam, goes right through the middle of this dark arena. It's really a crazy special atmosphere there. And it's so overhanging. There are not many lines in this size in the Alps or worldwide actually.
it's so steep and sustained. The rock is sometimes really bad, but I didn't mind. Because what was important for me was to reach those spectacular hanging icicles at the end of the roof. I wanted to reach them and climb them. That is what attracted me. After these intense projects, normal life starts and for me it feels senseless without a real goal. I need to have the next one. Therefore I train a lot and I train hard. To push forwards in modern alpinism it is necessary to have strong endurance. After one of these really heavy training sessions, out of nowhere it happened and it changed everything. I collapsed. It was a traumatic experience. I lost all the trust in my body and even worse, I started to have panic attacks. In the following months, I developed some fears which I never had before. I really learned what is it about panic attacks? What is it about fear? Uh, and then I started really to question what is going on here and, and it was quite a hard life because I had always fear every day like because of nothing. And But I went on mountaineering and it was what brought me back actually. After the collapse, I was about to lose climbing and my whole life was in danger of changing completely. It was so scary when I was mountaineering, but I also felt deep down that being in the mountains was good for me.
Oh, got it. Wow, stuck. The struggle of normal daily life was still there. I kept training and pushing myself and was in danger of having a relapse. Everybody says to you, now you have done your crazy ice climbing project and now you have to rest one week. Yeah, what shall I do in one week, you know? And this is what I really had to learn the hard way. Calm down, enjoy life, and spend time with my loved ones. Now, when I fall in those holes of not knowing if I'm doing the right thing for me, this realization keeps me alive. After this difficult period, it was hard to work on my project again. But after a few days in the route, I felt good again. All of a sudden, something had changed. Boom! It was like a little bit the old Michi again. The one who was so crazy about climbing and alpinism. And then I realized that I have to climb my way out. Through that whole process, I learned how to handle myself and my fears in a completely new way. It made me weak. It made me strong. But it's maybe these aspects that make me human. Now I don't want to inspire people. Now I, I'm too much driven by my own ideas. But maybe some people who have dreams can take something out. What lasts? What lasts?